Hi, I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. Okay, and I'm going to use my one of my new decks to check in the energy. I'm going to do something um, that I haven't done in a while that I know you guys enjoyed because uh, Spirit brought it to my attention. What's coming in the next 24 to 48 hours is what um, Spirit wanted me to do this morning. So that's what I'm going to do. And I hope everyone is doing well. And all the readings have been completed. So if you're interested, you already know the drill in the description box. <laughs> okay. All right. So what is coming for Divine Feminine in the next 24 to 48 hours? What is coming for Divine Feminine in the next 24 to 48 hours? Knight of Pentacles. So something is coming that may have taken a very long time to show up. Okay. But it is showing up. There was a lot of conflict. This card is strife. There's a lot of conflict in regards to this. There was a lot of adversities. What is what was trying what is it? <laughs> Just like what is it? <laughs> Ace of Swords. It's a new beginning. Could be an air sign for some of you, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Any clarity on what this Ace of Swords is? Maybe it is clarity for some of you. Yeah, this person has been oppressed or was oppressed for a very long time and the universe said enough. Will of Fortune illusionary success, nine of swords. This person was stuck here. I say eight of swords. This person was under, had an illusion. This person was illusion, disillusioned here by something. What were they disillusioned by and depressed? This, this just seems like blocked third eye. Told you, <laughs> look. Their third eye was blocked. Okay. For sure. This person was like bound. This is giving like bound by the devil. You know how the devil card, it's like, you know, and um, the devil is, you know, an energy of ego. It's an energy of, um, you know, materialism. It's an energy of sin, selfishness. Sometimes it's just an energy of depression and withdrawal, okay? And giving up, like you give up on yourself even, okay? And as I said, stuck, you know, that's the Two of Swords in the other deck, right? Um, Knight of Wands. So this person was um, trying to just, I feel like they were lying to themselves that they were at peace with this illusion with these illusions, but they weren't. So now they're coming in. Yeah, they feel ruined. So this is someone who has completely just hit rock bottom. What is the rock bottom? What is the ruin for this person? Ending a karmic cycle. And this is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person has ended or someone attached to them has ended a karmic cycle. So this is done and over with, but this is also their rock bottom. This person could have lost everything or at least feel as if they lost everything. So what are they coming towards divine feminine to do? Defeat. This is the Five of Wands. I mean, the Five of Swords, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. High Priestess, the Devil. They're coming towards Divine Feminine to defeat the Devil. Is that accurate? They're, they're trying to defeat the Devil. 
Yeah, death. They're trying to end this devil energy with you. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the High Priestess. They're... So they're back in the fight, I just heard? They're back in the fight. Divine Feminine is, like, sitting in her power at this time. What is representative of the devil in regards to these counterparts here? King of Pentacles. So this could be someone that is attached to Divine Feminine that is coming in as the devil. Queen of Swords. Three of Wands. Six of Swords. Three of Swords. Because Divine Feminine is manifesting this. And I don't feel like she realizes it. I feel like she's just trying to get her success. So this could be someone who is doing like daily affirmations, daily meditations, really like focusing on their shadow work. Okay, really just doing their thing. They've let go of, you know, wanting results. And I feel like this is bringing the counterpart in. This has created a change. Okay, this is why I said this person was sitting, this counter, this uh, Divine Feminine is sitting in her power. Okay, she's like shifting everything without even really trying. Okay. Um, yeah, because she is manifesting her wealth. That is the Ten of Pentacles. So what this is, is her Ten of Pentacles. So this is her destiny, okay? This is over. This hangman energy, whatever was causing stagnation, um, stuck energy is now over, okay? Whatever was causing a lack is over. What was causing a lack and stuckness? Greed, material happiness. This is the Nine of Cups. That's great. People were focusing too much on the 3D and not doing any healing, not doing any, you know, focusing too much on ego-based aspects of the life, like worldly things. But now, this is just, I feel like Divine Feminine feels very balanced. So, obviously, we have to live in the 3D because that's where we're here, okay? That's where we're at. Um, is the 3D. So I feel like this, whoever this Divine Feminine is has balanced the 3D and also the 5D and has learned to live in both worlds simultaneously. And that is very difficult for uh, Divine Feminines to do, okay? Because we're either in one or the other. It's very hard for us to <laughs> learn temperance and balance, okay? Because it is, because you feel pulled to one or the other, okay? Um, you got a lot of distractions, but I feel like you're very connected to your heart space. Okay, Queen of Cups energy here, and this also helped you to do that. Yeah, judgment. Um, I feel like you were in despair for a long time, like too long of a time maybe, and the universe called judgment on this, and it was like, no, no more. Strength, Leo energy here. So this is coming in the next 24 to 48 hours. So what action is this King of Swords going to take towards Divine Feminine in the next 24 to 48 hours? What is the action that's going to be taken in the next 24 to 48 hours? Victory. Victory over the third party. This is blended pleasure. This is the Four of Cups. I don't think you're going to see this coming. Ace of Wands. That's action. Somebody may show up at your house or you may receive a text, a phone call of some sort. This is an offer. Yeah, Eight of Wands. I'm telling you. 
So yeah, and then there, this person is going to move quickly. This will be quickly. What do they want with Divine Feminine? What do they want? Oh, Lord. Clarify the devil. <laughs> Clarify the devil. Queen of Pentacles. They want you. Why are they coming in devil energy? What is the devil? What is the devil? So they feel, okay, so they're in devil energy because they feel abandoned. They may also um, be in financial, financial, what? Financial turmoil, and you're the queen of pentacles. This person is depleted. This is justice. The scales have been balanced is what I just heard. So remember in a lot of readings how we discussed, well, we, you guys know, I, I talk to you like I'm talking to you. <laughs> I just saw 11, 11 on the timer. And I said, there was a divine feminine calling back her power because someone, there was a counterpart that was pulling from her masculine energy and profiting off of her masculine energy. And she was in a state of lack while he was sitting in the king of pentacles energy. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I'm spirit is reminding me of that. I said in those readings that justice was coming that the scales would be balanced, that the karmic cycles would be ended, that the contracts would be over, fulfilled, and the karmic cycles would be done. And the time is now. This has happened. She got what she was rightfully owed. Whoever this is. Could be one, could be a bunch of you, could be a few of you, okay? Take it how it resonates. This is someone who always tries to manifest money and there's always a block or, you know, you can only manifest so much. It's always something, 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 something. If you're noticing you're getting, um, things are flowing more freely, you're getting um, able to save money, you're, you're just, I don't know, your pinnacles are flowing more, then this is definitely for you. Maybe a job was blocked that you now have. Yeah, because balance has been restored. And balance could have not been restored unless you did your work, unless you evolved, unless you closed out your karmic cycles with integrity. You should be very proud of yourself because technically you defeated the devil. <laughs> okay. You did. This is what I'm seeing. And now this emperor is coming towards you. Um, and, and make no mistake, I feel like this emperor in the past um, readings was not the best. Okay? But I don't think you were the best either. I've seen some shadiness on both ends throughout these all of these readings up until this point that we're at now. Okay? Um, and this is why both sides had to forgive one another. Remember those readings where we talk about forgiveness and all of that. There's a lot of strife, remember? <laughs> a lot of things that went up against these this these couples, these counterparts, because you're very powerful, and I've said that before. Okay, there was the devil was really putting in work and overtime to prevent these this reunion, this union, okay? Attacking your money and your heart space is the two main things that were attacked in the mind, okay? I don't feel like this um, divine masculine has ever reached this point, this low of a point in their life, in this lifetime. Divine Feminine has, and she's just rebuilt, and she's, you know, she's like the Phoenix. She is the Phoenix. Ah. 
Ace of Cups. <laughs> now her cup overflows. And Spirit is like, no matter what conflict has come up against this Queen of Pentacles, this person has always remained loving, has always given, has always, at the end of the day, truly cared and loved. We all, every one of us are humans. We all get angry. We all, you know, have to deal with resentment and bitterness at times. But I feel like this person transmuted it. This person eventually let it go, you know, and forgave and just let things go. Okay. Even prayed for strength to forgive. Okay. Really wanted to do the, the good, right, just thing. And this is why you have earned the success that you have or will have. Okay. This is a lot of work. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Will of Fortune. The Moon. Perfect success. Through oppression. So you should be very proud of yourself. Very proud of yourself. And proud of your counterpart as well. Okay, because they had to deal with some things too. So I'm going to see what Spirit wants to say to you in this moment, Divine Feminine. Shark, swim away from this situation. Neptune could be significant here. Saturn could be significant. You, <clears throat> They could be telling you to um, swim away from this karmic ASAP. Sun, paint the sun back into your sky, which is funny because I received a notification on my phone. I'm going to show you the notification so you guys don't think I'm just, you know, <laughs> being dramatic. But see how that says comfortable with some sun. Yeah. So sun energy is heavy, very prevalent right now. Sun, Leo energy. Okay. The sun is looking after you. Morning, the world awaits you. Yeah. And it is morning time for me. It's 8.35 <laughs> Eastern AM. Okay. 35, 11, and 40 could be significant. Escapist, come home to yourself. 32. You could be coming home to yourself. Okay. Let's ask what spirit wants you to swim away from. What's, who's the shark in this scenario? Who is the shark? Who is the shark that Spirit is telling Divine Feminine to swim away from? Who is the shark here? Who is the shark? This is someone here. This is material success. This is someone here who is imbalanced. This is someone here who may take more than they give. Clarity on this. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person causes um, four swords, causes a lot of stress, anxiety in your life. Okay. They may only be focused on money. Nine of Pentacles. This is also the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the um, single card. I feel like you're having a hard time letting go of this person. The Emperor is coming though. This person is going to cause strife because this person is listening to intuition. This emperor is listening to intuition and they're bringing change to your life. Yep, three of wands. They know what they want. They're focused now. They're manifesting. King of Cups, High Priestess. They love you. They know that you are their love. They feel like you're oppressed with this person. Hermit, Virgo energy. You know this. You know this. Yep. They're coming in quickly. What are they going to do? 
in regards to this other person. They got a plan. Three of Pentacles. They have a plan for you to just walk away from this person and go towards them. Ace of Swords, Hierophant, Ten of Cups, Magician. <laughs> the Hierophant represents marriage and traditional connection. They're like, I'm the real Hierophant here, the true Hierophant. I'm the Magician. I mean, this Divine Masculine is the Magician, is a Hierophant here, is the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person is in the way. Yeah, they're going to have victory and defeat this person because they chose to heal. They're still healing as well. And there they are, King of Swords. <sighs> wow. Okay, so what is coming? <laughs> what is going on for Divine Masculine in the next 24 to 48 hours? Divine Masculine. What's going on in Divine Masculine's energy in the next 24 to 48 hours? This is a an apology or forgiveness. Princess of Pentacles. Judgment. Could be a younger earth sign. You got earth and water here. Judgment is being called on this water sign and this earth sign. What's the judgment here? Queen of Cups. Who is the rightful Queen of Cups? So someone had a decision. The rightful Queen of Cups is someone here who makes you feel at peace. Someone who can work with you. Three of Pentacles. It's the twin, the lovers. So what is coming? What is going on with these two in the next 24 to 48 hours? Justice, same thing in Divine Feminine's reading. Balance is being restored. For the, yeah, Ace of Wands, new beginning. It's the same energy, same thing happening. And the sun, the sun is here backing this up. Somebody could be a Leo, but I feel like the Leo energy that has been heavy in these readings has been an energy for some of you. And it's the sun, which would be the most high God, the most high God creator <clears throat> saying it's time. Let's go. Yeah. Something has been ruined. This is like a tower. So this is what I'm feeling is that something has been burnt to the ground so that it can be replaced with love. Notice how this is on fire. That's what I was looking at. And this is a tree that is being nourished. Yep. It's enough. Enough ruin enough decay enough anxiety stress enough heart hurt someone was very careful about their healing about the steps that they took about what they did they dealt with a lot of loss i feel like both of the these people have dealt with a lot of loss and now they're being moved forward i feel like this loss could have been a test what are you going to do in the middle of chaos? Are you going to have integrity or are you going to, you know, are you going to stay loyal? Are you going to stay on your path? Are you going to choose you? Are you going to continue to heal or are you going to fall? And you chose love through it all. You, you chose love through it all. And you established your strength here. And this is why you're getting paid. Ten of Pentacles. This is why you're getting your love of your life and your money. You have now, I feel like, you're like the King of Cups now. Okay? 
yeah you're an air sign but you're coming in as the king of cups because you chose to do the right thing ace of swords and you also got clarity over this queen of pentacles king of pentacles king of swords you know now without a shadow of a doubt that this is your actual counterpart she is a high priestess you know for some reason you're viewing her as a high priestess i mean i understand why but i feel like there's more to it than just knowing that she is connected i feel like something has occurred that has really led you to see her ability her and it's like amazing what occurred I feel like she may have predicted something for you. I don't know. It's something crazy. Victory over seven of pentacles. So you may have gotten victory over something that you were working on that she may have said or prophesied or it's something like that. Okay. And you're like viewing her as the high priestess. Like, wow, she is what she says or this is who she is. Yeah, because there was too much conflict with what you were trying to achieve. Maybe you set your goal too high or something like that. I feel like she told you, and when she told you this, you were like, there's no effing way. And when it, and when it happened, it was, almost felt like a miracle, right? And you're like, what? Yeah, and it came in quickly. The hermit. It's also like you know that this person can see within. Like this person can see within. That's how they get their strength. Or that's how they know. Oh, okay. So messages for Divine Masculine. You can be your own knight, princess. Tree, let them go. Remember I said the tree was on fire in the other deck. That's significant. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Sundress, do it for you. So you can be your own knight. Some of you may be females. Um, others of you just know that, you know, you don't need anyone to save you. You can save yourself. That's basically what this card is telling you. Let them go. There's something about a tree that's significant. I don't know if you guys planted a tree together or if there's a picture of you near a specific tree and maybe this is causing you to be sad. Um, there's something about a tree. Uh, what is this tree? Yeah, three of swords. What is about a tree? Um, and who is Divine Masculine supposed to be letting go? I feel like this could be the karmic. Uh, maybe it's a family tree. Maybe you feel like you're letting go of the family, but you're not. You're only letting go of the karmic, okay? Yeah, this is a death. This is ending. Yeah, death of who or what? Well, oh, lower. No, ending of a karmic cycle. Okay, letting go of who? Yeah, you still have feelings for this person. I mean, of course, you're not cold. And this is why they're telling you to balance yourself. I mean, I feel like you know who you honestly want to be with, but it doesn't mean that you never loved your spouse. I feel definitely that both of these energies did or do, but you're just, you know, they're toxic. You know, they cause too much. You know, it's just not, you're not compatible, right? Princess of Wands. Yeah, this person is coming in as very immature, like, this person is always arguing, but there was love here. I feel like when this person is balanced, this person may be loving at times, but when she's angry, it's like this person just wants to destroy you, Divine Masculine, so you have to let them go. Yeah, that's you, the Emperor. You know you have to walk away so that you can have your Ten of Cups with your counterpart. But there is something significant about a tree.
Okay. And what should Divine Feminine be focusing on now, between now and the next 24 to 48 hours? Something has sped up. This always happens when I do readings. When I stop doing readings, I notice things are slow. But I feel like there's people like, I know there's people watching, but there's someone very strong in the collective that's watching these videos that when I put out something and I tell them to do something, I'm noticing the shift because I'm noticing the shift in the cards that I literally said what you needed to do and it's already shifted that fast. And Spirit told me this morning to do this reading and specifically do a reading what's going to happen in the next 24 to 48 hours. So there's someone who's watching and they're really taking heed and taking advice. So Spirit wanted me to point that out like they see you. Spirit sees you, okay? The universe sees you. Wink, wink. Good job. Yeah, you could be dealing with your addiction. You could be breaking the addiction, okay? So, good job. This could have been the block, your addiction. Maybe you didn't want to face it. Maybe you didn't agree with it. Maybe you were like, I don't have a damn addiction. But I feel like you finally said, okay, let me ask a professional, Yeah, self-worth, shadow work. You started doing your damn shadow work. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was, I just started having a conversation. Okay. What does the divine feminine need to focus on? And then, or well, right now. So enabling your boundaries, you could be dealing with someone who is a snake or who will try to use you or oppress you in some way. Okay. Um, karmic energy for sure. Okay. So make sure that your boundaries are in place. <laughs> Excuse me. This person is going to be heartbroken about this breakup. Be prepared. You may also be heartbroken or feeling a loss or having to grieve over a breakup yourself. And it could be with this snake. Yeah, this is spirit is reminding you this is a new beginning, though. OK, I want you to be. Yes, I want you to grieve, but I also want you to be excited for your future. OK, because you earned it. Right. You earned it. You know how difficult it is to do whoever you guys are that are doing this. It's very difficult to accomplish this. I mean, you know, you see twin flame readings everywhere. Right. So you should be very proud of yourself. OK. Reborn. OK. Tragic endings. Yes. It may be a tragic ending for some of you. It may be. But that is not your karma. That is not your responsibility. That is not your fault. Most importantly, focus on your shadow work. Focus on you and yourself and your worth and your value. Okay? And give yourself time to heal. And also appreciate yourself. Appreciate who you are and what you stand for and what you're teaching others and what you're teaching to your children and what you're showing to your family. Okay? Whether your family is karmic or not. Stand in your power. Okay. Time to heal. Progressing. So you are ending cycles. Okay. So give yourself some time here. Okay. And what does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? This is the Situation Love Oracle deck also, by the way. What does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? Love. Unconditional love, self-love, affection, attraction, selflessness. So focus on unconditional love. You may need to read on what unconditional love is. You may not be aware or know what that actually means for some of you. Spirit is being very adamant about that. Do you even know what unconditional versus conditional love is? Do you? If not, look it up. Okay. Love call. Expressing love. Messages of love thinking of you, informing you. You need to text or call someone and let them know that you love them. Okay. 
There is a snake in your midst. Look over your shoulder. The other woman, competition, enemy. This is someone who is your competition. This could be whoever is attached to Divine Feminine. This person is a snake. So Spirit is telling you to be mindful of this person. You may be out and about and this person may approach you i'm getting okay but spirit wants you to have fun at this time live in the moment hang out with your friends enjoy being single okay don't engage in in uh, addiction okay but enjoy yourself at this time but also be mindful you have an enemy watching you looking at pictures i told you looking at pictures of you this person may be stalking you I'm just telling you. This person has old school thinking or they may handle things in an old school way. Which means fighting. So be mindful of that. You're headed into abundance though. Keep a positive mindset because you're headed into abundance with your mirror okay so this is what you need to focus on at this time yeah because you're also mirroring your twin and so your twin so if you're wondering hmm things are ending in her life or things are ending in my life is that going to happen for them spirit is telling you right now yes it is yes and very soon you are going to be meeting and talking and feeling elevated, feeling elated with one another, building a friendship with one another, really enjoying each other very soon. Okay, and what do, what do they need to know? What is the title of this reading going to be in spirit? What does everyone need to know? And what does the title of the reading need to be at this time? 1147 could be significant for some of you or 11 or 47. Mirror. That's the title of the reading. Whoa. <laughs> Mirror and engagement ring. Higher commitment. Eternity. Partnership and union. Completion. This is it. This is it. Wow. Yep. Healthy choices. Self-love. Happier. Both of you are each other's healthy choice. You are going to be happier and love the life that you create with one another. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. 